attempting to best the house standard. In the NASA power beaming challenge, engineering teams combine their expertise to build high climbing robotic machines that go up a tall ribbon. That poses an obstacle both teams are trying to address. To bring the right minds together to advance in the historic race to space, a new frontier of possibilities and resources from which the whole world will benefit. The idea for the space elevator was conceived in the year 1895 by Russian scientist Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, who had been inspired by the recent completion of the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Science fiction books were written based on this idea, to dream of easily traveling to outer space. In 2006, a team of materials and technologists from Sacramento, California, joined together in the Tether Challenge competition, stewarded by Spaceward. This organization is known as Team Aster Aranea. Led by founder Michael Remington, their mission is to create a new, more efficient method of travel. Just gonna do one side? Yes, uh, you go first. Confirm? You always go first. Right. Done? Right. Done. Right. All right, okay. On my day job, I actually build rockets. All right. Kurt, could you help me clear the way through here? Kurt Firestein, he's really been helpful with testing. He's got a pretty wide background in testing and lots of years of experience. the little misses. <laughs> she probably needs help bringing in the beer. Thanks, Brian. Doggone, this has got to start boiling any minute now. Stay inside. <laughs> I'm 
Fed up with the devil She's at the bottom of the crucifix Well, we have Dave Carroll. He's our, our newly added member, and he's going to be helping us out with the computer modeling and general computer science that we're working on. How you doing? Sorry. I met up with the devil. She's at the bottom of the crucifix. Well, I climbed to the top of it. I could see all of her crazy existence. I fell from grace. I met Mike at school when I was at UCLA. Um, let's see. And then he graduated and I dropped out. And then uh, he went to work for Aerojet. And being as he's very much into space and space exploration, he just called me up one day after I'd moved back from LA to see if I wanted to go to a competition, an engineering competition. I thought, sure, why not? He decided he was going to participate, and I've just been going with him every year since. No, I mean, I was able to move him, so. Dave Ortiz, he's been helping us out with the tooling and getting us materials that we have a hard time getting a hold of. He's been real helpful, saved the team a lot of money, and, uh, and pushed us forward in times when we really ha wouldn't have been able to do so otherwise. I'll put another bracket under there and just put a solid block under that. I saw him uh, when we were at the Cafe Express at, at lunchtime a couple of times and I overheard somebody say that he was an Atlas engineer. And I can't do any RC flying when I'm working on the tether. Good. Oy. Nice. <laughs> so. Well, we definitely noticed it wanted to curve off to the left. Because the, the amount of effort required to make gains in material technology for what's needed for space elevators is very demanding. And when you already have full-time jobs, it's, it's all you can do to just keep things moving and you don't have time for any other hobbies. Oh, oh. Come on now. It's uh, quite the uh, monumental occasion. A lot of my friends have been waiting for me to brew beer for a long time. A long story to it. It all started with the first Gulf War. Uh, I hadn't brewed beer in a long time, and that's when I had met my friend uh, at work who showed me how to scratch brew, and I figured. Uh, that first uh, Gulf War kind of scared the hell out of me. You know, I thought it was gonna, you know, the world was gonna end, you know, because of, uh, of us going into Iraq. And, you know, I thought that's where the cradle of civilization started and that's where it would end, or the starting of the end would start. And uh, so I figured as long as I was brewing beer, the world wouldn't end. Then we invaded Iraq, you know, and so it's like, okay, now's a good time to start brewing again. <laughs> Oh, the racing! Oh, that, that was fun. We're always, every time we won, between all the crowds and everything cheering for us and signing autographs, like I was telling you, we had you know so many races and we only had one third place, uh, to about two or three second places. All the rest were first place. And every time we'd go out there, we had everybody just stand and cheering, and it was great. I get a close up of the engine. I'll go give you a little demonstration. Woo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's the engine. There it is. But I think we had the center of gravity fairly centered on that for the month ago. It's had so much, uh, you know, only so much time to devote to things like mowing the lawn and trimming the trees. And uh, taking care of my son that 